Hunter Dodge takes the green flag. Looks like Dodge will be the leader in the turn one. Oh, they are squarely. I guess it's not completely dry. But as long as we can keep them racing, keep them going, it'll dry up. We hope. Ooh, battle for the lead as we had the 35 car. Adriana Dodge to the lead. She passes Hunter, brings Shane Weber with her. Dodge, Weber, Dodge, your top three. Golding up into fourth. He's wasting no time at all on that Integra. Paul Hopkins up into the top five. He was looking to score his first Thunder Four heat win. Just got a little ways to go. Three laps in, it is the pink 35 of Adriana Dodge. But look now, we got Shane Weber to the outside. There's side by side attitude down the back stretch. Weber's gonna clear her into three. He carries the momentum down. New leader through three and four, Shane Weber. These little Toyotas are becoming a popular sight in Thunder 4. They seem to be sweeping this division now. Tigers are the forgotten yesterday. Dutch, Doug Church a little bit of trouble on the front stretch. His 2021 woes continue. Meanwhile, Golding, he's up above the paint. He's making this track real big. Leaders clear past Churchill with no problem. They'll continue to run single file. Four to go, it is still Shane Weber. Starting to build a lead now, it's up to just over a second. The battle might be for the third spot. See what Golden can do. See if he can keep himself patient, keep the car down where the speed is. You think it'd be fast if you just get on it real hard, real early, drift up the track, but you really don't gain anything. These are definitely momentum cars. You can't break that momentum whatsoever. Two to go, Shane Weber, the number seven. Adriana Dodge, Hunter Dodge, Mark Golding, your top four. White flag is out. Golding up to the bumper of Hunter Dodge. Dodge able to sneak away a little bit out of two, get another car length on him, see if he can survive the last set of corners. It looks like we're gonna have the same top for you. Shane Weber, Adriana Dodge, Hunter Dodge, Mark Golding. Pace cars off, green flags out. James Grover, Kyle Moore racing to one. Advantage in was Moore, advantage out is Grover. But Moore battles back on the backstretch. He's got the big horsepower. Who needs a run when you got pure horsepower? We're side by side out of four, give the advantage to Moore. Grover looks like he's really struggling towards the end of the straights. DeGroat looks to his outside, he takes second place. He clears him into three. Now Jeff Davis follows suit on the outside. Grover pushes way up. Jeff Davis in the third group now. He completes the pass on the outside. Farrington goes to the inside. All kinds of action for that third spot. So now we got Kyle Moore, your leader, followed by Doug DeGroat, Jeff Davis. Jeff Farrington in fourth. He's looking to sneak into the top three. Doug DeGroat to the outside. He's side by side into three. We got a big Honda and a little Honda. Advantage the big one at the line. Doug DeGroat fighting back on that outside. He gets a little advantage down the backstretch. 
He gets a nose ahead into three. Can he roll it through the center? It's a little tight. Halfway home, advantage still more. Barrington up to third in that Toyota. Passes the number one Chevrolet. The battle still for the lead. Kyle Moore, Doug DeGroat. DeGroat second in points, he's only down by two. Weber won the first seat, he's gonna win this seat so we can keep the match. Looks like he's gonna do it out of four, Moore pushes up, DeGroat clears him. Barrington goes low, he'll be second at the line. Three laps to go, the battle's for second. Barrington and Moore, looks like Barrington's gonna get the advantage into three. Jeff Davis gonna try to sneak under. Moore hard into three, pushes up in the center. Jeff Davis sneaks under with two to go. He's looking to get a top three in this heat race. He's heads up into three. Moore gets tight in the center. Davis saving to clear out of four. White flag goes to Doug DeGroat. These top two were the fastest two in practice. Had almost identical lap times in first practice. It looks like advantage is going to go to the Groat out of four. He's going to be your heat winner. A little bit of contact for third spot. They keep it clean though. They and straighten the green it out. flag waves. We're back racing. Missed shift for the 35 of Adriana Dodge. That allows Shane Weber to get a huge lead. Hunter Dodge. He's right on the tail. Adriana gets it back in gear. She falls back in the fifth spot going down the back stretch. Three wide into turn three. Paul Hopkins up high. Paul holds on just long enough to bring it back two wide on the front stretch. As Shane Weber's your leader after one lap. He's already starting to build the advantage over second place Hunter Dodge. Jeff Farrington looking to make moves early. He's already up to six. Last week's top three is already into the top seven. They're already making moves. But Shane Weber just keeps building that lead. Mikey Golding up high. He's trying to make it happen. He's got it rolling the center okay. Just a little tight out. He's going to send it up three wide into one. Can't make it work. Pulls it back in two. Meanwhile, Doug DeGroat's caught Hunter Dodge for second. He's almost on the bumper of that little civet. Now he looks to the high side. Doug DeGroat up high into one. Just over three liters of Honda Fury duking it out for second position. Coming out of turn four, give the advantage to Dodge. The Grove just can't put the power down. The Grove gonna have to give up, it looks like. He can't quite get it done out there. We're too wide for second. We're too wide for six. The Groat still trying the high side around the 53 of Dodge. Turn four seems to be the nemesis, just can't quite get it done. That is definitely the toughest, probably the toughest part of the whole racetrack here. Especially with these things, because if you get them set up so they're good in three and four, then they're really not that good in one and two. Doug can get up and get a little bit right next to him, maybe an advantage down the back stretch into three, but once he hits that center section of three and four, just can't quite get it done. Oh, trouble for Farrington. He was sideways going through one. He gets it collected again. 
Oh, looks like Golden with some contact on Moore. He takes out the stake in turn four. It looks like he's got a broken tie rod or something. That right front tire is pointed in no man's land. That race car is done for the night. Meanwhile, Shane Weber just keeps putting down good laps. He's got about a straightaway lead on second. He quit ways to three and a half seconds. The battle though, still for that second spot. DeGro gets the advantage into three, gets to the center and pushes up, just can't quite get the job done out of four. But he's gonna have company soon. Mikey Golding's joined the party. Golding using every inch of the racetrack to find speed, get a run on one of them two. This battle for second is catching up to some lap traffic. Golding's looking low, he doesn't have room. He forces it in, there's contact. Dodge gets it collected, he holds on to second. Golding looking low again. They clear a couple lap cars, there's single fire for second. Golding the new third place car, he looks low again. He looks determined to make the crossover out of full work. About two inches of bumper ain't gonna quite get it done though. He finally looks to the high side. He gets up to the tire and he loses it all on exit. Looks like nobody can quite put it down on the exit of four. Do the rain have something to do with that? Uh, it might, I, really, I bet it would. If I was driving, I'd say it did. The physics may say no, but I don't care. Yes, it did. <laughs> Paul Hopkins gets it out of the way. Oh, well, never mind. We're three wide into one, but we get it squared up. Jeff Farrington's joined the party. We got a four car battle looking up for second place here. Dr. Grote looking high again. He wants third place back. Just past the halfway point. Hunter Dodge holding on strong to second. They keep pushing him around, but he holds it tough. Golden holds it right low out of four. There's a lot of grip for these things. Dodge throws a block. He can make his stick just as good. The grow looks high, gets a little bit of a tire bump from Mikey. Shane Weber has clearly checked out up to a six second lead, third of the racetrack. These guys running about 18 and a half to 19 second laps. Dodge leaving about a half a groove, but he's still in the racing line. DeGrosse gaining some ground though. He's playing defense, he's trying to protect the bottom. He's scrubbing a lot of speed. DeGrosse makes momentum work. Can he clear him into three? He's got him clear, now can he bring it down? He can't quite get it down out of four. Dodge battles back. He got second place that time by the line though. He does have the nose there. Still gotta do it for another 14 laps. He gets the nose, he clears him into three. Still can't quite bring it down. That car just too tight through three and four. Golden with a bumper on Dodge into one. He's getting impatient. Meanwhile, we got Jeff Farrington, Jeff Davis sitting in their wake. The Grote clears him into three again. Can he bring it down and finish the job? Not quite. And they think it's easy to do, but when these cars want to scrub up, you're trying to put power down and turn with those front tires, and they just don't want to do it. The Grote clears him out of two, though. He's got to clear into three. He finishes the job. The Grote, the new second place car, all by himself, Dodge third, Golden fourth. He's gonna have a hard time holding it though with that, with turn four in that car the way it is. Oh yeah, he's, he's starting to slide up a little bit playing all the defense he's playing. He's scrubbing up just a little bit right there through three and four, then tries to pinch the curb on exit. It's a defensive line, you definitely hold the bottom, but you definitely will not run a lot of speed doing that. 
but sometimes when you're not quite fast enough, it's what you got to do to win. Or finish second. Hey, trophy's the trophy, man. <laughs> He's got a long way to catch Mr. Weber. But luckily, an extra 10 laps. This would be the end of the race normally, but they got 10 more to go. I, if I was in Shane Weber's shoes, I'd be ready for the checkered flag, but as long as he's patient, just takes his time, it really shouldn't be a worry for him. He's kind of caught up in some lap traffic right now, which is good news for Doug DeGroat. Oh, DeGroat, he's already checked out a little bit from third place. He's definitely building the lead. Golding's up on the outside. He finally decides to stick it out there, see what it can do. They'll go into turn three, heads up. He can get him on entry, but he pushes up in the center. That little bit of tightness in the center just completely kills the drive off. Farrington looks to make it three wide, can't get it done. He knows he's got speed enough for a top three. Just gonna wait for his line to open up. Rolling up high again out of four. He'll get him at the line, but can he keep doing it? He gets a big run through one and two. Got a big run off. Almost clears it through three. He manages to clear him. Mikey Golding in third place all alone now. See if he can extend the little gap. Get some breathing room between him and Farrington in fifth. Meanwhile, Shane Weber's up front. Still just ticking laps down. Lapping a few cars here and there. The fastest car in the race was the 26 of Michael Golding. He was a tenth faster than Shane Weber, but track position is key, and Shane Weber had a clear track. He could just check right out. Weber looking to lap the eighth place car. Kind of just taking his time back there, making sure he just finishes this race. Golding's almost caught the growth for that second position. See if Golding can put on a fight. White flags waving for Shane Weber. One more time around. Mikey Golding looking high out of four around the grove. He can't quite stick it. Weber playing it cautious down the back stretch. Can't say I blame him. As the grove, he gets a couple car length advantage over Golding. Shane Weber crosses the line. He will be your winner. Second place will go to Doug DeGroat, followed by Mikey Golding in the 26. Fourth is Jeff Farrington. I got Shane Fifth Weber here. He's fresh off his third win on the season. Picked up his fourth heat win on the season. Extends that point lead, man. It's closing in. Tell us. You get the car going. Looks like the best you've had it going. You coming down to the championship. You think you got it? Oh, we'll see. The consistent run's been the, been the key. Just patience all year. I run over Oxford. I have to lay back. So, kind of did it here. I, a bad place last couple weeks ago. It sets me up good today. So, it's all good. Hey, some Consistency. Sometimes you got to make a, a little bit of... A little bit of magic out of the clouds up there. Yeah. You know, you get a bad hand delta, you get started up front, just kind of check out, set the pace for the field, and don't have to deal with nothing. Uh, you get any sponsors you got to thank off of this thing? I got uh, Main Timber Mats, Village Market, Carson Trucking, uh, Bill, uh, Q's Cannabis, and then, my, of course, my White Designs for Letternet, and then I got my wife and my help, at Jeff Appleton, and uh, Q are not here today, so that's about it. Today. All righty. Shane Weber with his third win on the season. The car was fast, you got up to second, but by the time you got there, that thing was just checked right out. Come on, man. How's the car going for you? You think you get anything for him the rest of the year? It's going great. We just got to start with him. When we put him on the pole with a fast car, then it's a good, easy win. So we started in the back of the heat, won the heat, started in the middle of this, and came back for second. So I think we passed some cars. Just waiting for something to happen there. I thought, sure, we were going to have a caution, but we didn't. So here we are. Oh, yeah, it was close. We almost had a couple of cautions out there, but everyone kept them straight, kept them going forward. You know, sometimes it sucks that you, you get the average finish from the last five races, so it allows them to get up front. I've benefited from it. I, I mean, it's, it's the handicap system, man. It's what we got. So, uh, you got any sponsors you want to thank off this little CRX? I uh, just all my customers support me. We got Trucks Auto Body, uh, RPM race engines. The car, the hood is probably 
10, 15 years old from an old car that's crashed out back, so we probably ought to change the phone number for him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that always helps sometimes, get the right phone numbers for your sponsors. Is that all we got for you, Doug? All righty, congrats, man. Another top three for Doug. Number 26 out of pound, old gold wheel racing, Mikey Golding. Car was pretty fast tonight. Almost had something to put on a fight for second place. Just couldn't get it done. It looked like he really struggled coming out of four. The treacherous Thunder 4 turn four. All right, Mike, how was the car for you? Well, the car lost the brakes halfway through, and I was trying to stay back a little bit on the gas. But you, with these cars, once you get your momentum going, you got to keep it going. And when you lose ground, it's big time that you lose. So uh, we blew the head gasket. We put some gasket material in the radiator, and it made it out here. I got lucky that I'm even here. But... Uh, I got to thank my sponsors, um, D Banks, Curtis Lawn and Yard Care, White Lab Genetics, and everybody that's helped me on the car, Cameron, Zach, everybody that's helped me on the car, Cooper, everybody. I just thank everybody because we, we just put hours and hours into this car to get it here. So, yep. I mean, that's what it takes. Sometimes even these little divisions, you got to spend a lot of time getting these cars fast. There's your top three of Thunder 4 mini stocks. Shane Weber, Doug DeGroat, and Mikey Golding.